Stop it! Stop it! Seeing the world through Adrian's eyes, you can feel how overwhelming life can be for a person with autism. Easily overstimulated, simple things like a fan or a fluorescent light can make a person with autism extremely anxious. Autism is an increasingly common developmental disorder. It affects sensory perception, the ability to communicate, and social behavior. Families and professionals have banded together to create a new autism center in Massachusetts. The Gottschall Autism Center will be housed on an organic farm where families can find support and education about the world of autism. Let me introduce you to some of the people who have come together to create the Gottschall Autism Center. Well, when he was first diagnosed, I had no idea what to expect. I just never thought it would happen, you know? I just thought it was very rare. It took me until she was five years old to find someone who would finally give this presentation, whatever this thing was, a name. The doctor who diagnosed him said, okay, he has autism. We don't know how far he's gonna go, if he'll ever be independent, and have a nice day. And that was it, that was all I got. It was devastating, it was, it was like a loss. And it, our whole world just fell apart. When I left the hospital after that evaluation, I was in the car driving by myself, and I called my sister. I said, Linda, Adrian has autism. And she was so wonderful to me, and she said, Joni, it doesn't matter what you call it. Adrian's still Adrian. If I could go back and that doctor could say something to me, it would be, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Dillon, your son has autism, but there's hope. And these are the things you can do. For parents, the Gottschall Autism Center will focus on education to help them navigate the medical, educational, financial, and social services available to them and to give them the tools they need to help their children. The center will teach parents to assist their children with selecting therapies and a nutrition plan. The idea is to have families stay at the center for a week, learning to use the new tools and information that can help them at home. There's a huge learning curve once your child's diagnosed. You just got to become an expert in so many different areas. You suddenly need to understand sensory integration, speech and language therapy, what occupational therapy is, what the educational system is all about. I just researched and researched and researched and read as many books and talked to as many people as I could. You are expected to be a physician, to be a nurse, to be a therapist, to be a teacher, to be an advocate, to be an attorney, and not one person can do all of that. There was no support groups, there was no really, no one to go to. The Gottschall Autism Center wants to foster an environment that will help the entire family with the stress of living with autism. The goal is to create a place where everyone can feel hopeful and positive. I got involved with the Gottschall Center because I really saw that there was a need for this in our community, that we needed to bridge the gap between the services that were available now and what families really need. We want to be able to tell parents, okay, you need to go to this center and sign up for this, and you need to be on a certain kind of insurance through the state in order to get the money to fund, you know, these types of aids. And here's, you know, these programs that are available. A lot of the services are through the school system. We've had to fight really hard to get them, but finally we have them. Nobody tells you about anything. You have to go find everything yourself. Services for children with autism are really kind of um, hidden and they're not very well advertised. So what families really need is more support services and help with navigating the system. What if we brought people together when kids were newly diagnosed with autism and said, in a week long stay, this is what you need to know. Here are your options. We feel like we can help people start their journey in a much more grounded, 
knowledgeable, informed way, and therefore the children will be helped a lot earlier. Autism was once thought to be a rare psychiatric disorder. It is now considered a biomedical condition with genetic origins and environmental triggers. Based on the work of Elaine Gotchel, the center has identified nutritional interventions to address the gastrointestinal elements of autism that are often overlooked. She single-handedly changed the entire dietary approach for autism by helping us understand how to heal the gastrointestinal system, which brings pain relief to children on the autism spectrum. When I pick him up from school, he was always crying and just seemed like he was in pain. And everyone said, oh, it's a behavior. But I'm thinking, no, he is in pain. He has a lot of gastrointestinal problems, so he's not feeling well, he's sick. The pain must just overtake him sometimes. And because he has such limited language, it's frustrating. And that manifests itself in behaviors, um, screaming, tantruming, you know, hitting sometimes. He was scoped and had a colonoscopy, and he was, he was red from the throat down, just inflamed. The food was just eating his insides. I mean, he was just a mess. Children with autism do not have the enzymes they need to break down certain foods. It causes inflammation in the gastrointestinal system, and the inflammation uh, prevents the absorption of food. Uh, so basically, um, the organs are starving, including the brain. Fixing their gut will allow them to absorb the nutrients they need. There's a, there's a huge gut-brain connection. So you get the gut happy, and the brain can work correctly. I finally, now a year later, have found the right diet for him, and he's doing phenomenal. He had very few words last year, and now he's talking, and he's happy, and he's playing, and he's smiling. I mean, it really is a miracle, and it's hard to believe it's just food. You know, just food. Individuals with autism require special consideration when designing lifestyle and employment options. The farm offers rich, varied, and abundant opportunities for accomplishment. We're going to have a waiting list before we open our doors. Um, I'd love to see job training, and I don't mean just working on the farm. I mean whatever skill that these kids have been identified as having an interest in that may become a career for them. At this point, there are no provisions after high school. Some will also want to go on and get educated further, so the Godchild Center will be helping families to access higher education. Some of these kids, you just don't know what's under there. Um, the parent might, but the community at large might not. So I think it's important to help show everyone what these kids can do and to help them realize those goals. Ryan, I would love to see him become maybe a graphic artist. He loves to draw, just, and he's so good at it. Everyone has unique gifts to offer. Uh, and for my son, it's music. And we recently found it at age 16. So you have to keep looking. You have to figure out for your particular child what is that unique gift, like any child. The specially trained and compassionate professionals at the Gotchel Autism Center will help each person discover their strengths and abilities so that they can carry them into the future. I believe the reason that people will be drawn to the Gotchel Center and drawn to supporting it will be that this is an issue not just for parents and families of people with autism, but our society as a whole. Just think. In Adrian's little lifetime, she's almost 18 years old, it's a very short amount of time. The incident rate has changed from one in 10,000 people to one in 150 people. That's something our entire world needs to pay attention to. The Gotchel Center is really going to help families from when the children are born or diagnosed with autism right through um, adolescence through adulthood. It will help families now. Now is when they need help. Um, you know, we can't wait a year, five years, ten years, twenty years for services to catch up. So right now, the Godchild Center will be able to help families. All they got to do is just walk through the door, and then, then they're going to be taken care of. I think the goal would be that we'd have Godchild Centers all over the country, and they'd be helping all these children.